The ogre, the strongest creature on the planet, his whole life, he looks down on everyone and is self-confident for more than 200%. He never lost to anyone, defeating even armies by himself. Yujiro is a fierce and arrogant man, he shows no mercy towards anybody, as he views mercy as a weak trait. Yujiro is also emotionally manipulative, this can be seen in his relationships with his son and Emi Akazawa, for example. He seemingly lives only to fight and cause destruction to anything and everything he can. His whole life and mindset are dedicated to nothing but fighting and growing stronger with each person he defeats, sometimes killing them. He tends to kill people if pushed or enraged enough and does not show care or remorse when doing so. He will also kill for pleasure or satisfaction when he feels like it. But even still he acknowledged some people and about those people we gonna talk today. Muhammad Ali, a legendary boxer who dedicated his life in fighting for the weak and developing a perfect art of fighting. When he was still young, he encountered the young Yujiro Hanma who came to check such a famous fighter who was on everyone's lips. He was determined to perfect a universal martial art but was halted for 3 years due to having been banned from competing in combat sports. During his time as a boxer, Ali fought for the disenfranchised and weak such as African Americans and military veterans which earned him great amounts of respect from Yujiro Hanma. They had a talk and Ali even introduced his little son to Yujiro. It could be said that these two became something like friends. I fathered children just like you all over the world. And they better watch out, cause you're gonna be a tough opponent for them. That was a good fight, son. Dopo Rochi, a guy who practiced in martial arts for 50 years. Yujiro mostly acknowledged people for their strength and for fighting skills, and Dopo is the one who gave Yujiro a good fight, forcing him to use his strongest technique, Demon Face, but still Orochi lost that fight and almost died. Since then, they sometimes sit in a bar drinking and talking about their sons. I would not say that they become friends, but still looks like Yujiro accepts Dopo as a strong fighter and somehow respects him. As well as Dopo respect, Yujiro strength and his company, even though he lost an eye thanks to the ogre. <laughs> Reichi Ando, a large man in his late 30s with a heavy set appearance combined of both fat and muscles. He lives as a hermit, secluding himself deep in the woods on the treacherous mountain. Few could even survive the journey to his home, but less eke out a life there. But because of Ando's physical and mental strength, he thrives. It was said that once he was a friend of Yujiro Hanma and cares deeply about Baki being like a father figure to him. Who knows about their relationship now, but in the past looks like they were good friends with Yujiro as Baki remembers him and respects him. <laughs> Mitsunari Tokugawa, a small old dude who runs the underground arena. They often talk over a cup of a coffee and looks like Yujiro even cares a bit about Tokugawa's health, asking him to stop smoking. From time to time, the ogre even listens to Mitsunari's request as he let the maximum tournament go on and not kill everyone. <laughs> <laughs> 
Probably Yujiro likes him because of Tokugawa's insane interest in fights and his activity as an underground fights runner and also for his huge knowledge about every strong fighter all over the world. <laughs> Biscuit Oliver is another guy who was recognized by Yujiro thanks to his incredible physical power, and Ogre does not mind sparing with him on glows. Oliver is strongest in his prison and known all around the world as an insanely strong mercenary as well as Yujiro. I think that fact makes Yujiro somehow respect Oliver as his colleague. Maybe sometimes they even drink together in a bar arguing about who killed more people on a mission. Bucky is the one who Yujiro wants to be stronger and has high hopes to have a good fight with. He is Yujiro's son and is the one who should be the next number one in the world. At the Raite tournament they looked like father and son for the first time, watching and talking about every fight. Yujiro even high-fived Bucky after his victory. And after their final fight Yujiro essentially shared the title of world strongest. Even though he had won the physical brawl, it didn't sit right with him to declare himself on another level about Bucky anymore, as he had to do his best in their fight, so they are on the same level now. Listen, in the near future, he's gonna bear his fangs at me. He's only an 18-year-old kid, but he's managed to attain enough strength to be able to do it. Move it. Kaku Kayo is an old potato who cornered Yujiro in their fight and showed himself insanely well. The ogre even had to use his demon back to defeat the old man. Even though Kaku lost in this fight and was forced to play better to survive, I think he achieved some respect from Yujiro as Yujiro loves to have a good fight and their fight was a good fight after all. Of course you didn't defeat me. <laughs> you damn geezer. Anyway, thanks for the thought, at least. Let's do this again in a hundred years, okay? <laughs> <sighs> the world's strongest man, huh? I have to say, I wouldn't mind being called that as well. Gary Stridham is a general in the US Army. He originally met Yujiro as an enemy in the Vietnam War, where he was nearly killed by him. But now he is Yujiro's companion and comrade at arms. He developed an admiration for Yujiro and now he travels fighting with him on the battlefields across the world. However, it is often seen that Stridham cannot stand situation in which Yujiro abuses his brutality and ruthlessness. He seems to know him well and understands his wild way of thinking, but he usually disagrees with his actions. But he is still alive, so I think Yujiro somehow appreciates him after all. Stridham is also Bucky's friend and mentor, who keeps him up to date about Yujiro's whereabouts. I'm on vacation. So what do you want, huh, Stridham? Uh, hey, Ogre. You know, if you really wanted to get out, you could have just used the ladder. <laughs> That's it. Let me know in the comments if I forgot someone. Leave a like and subscribe if this video was interesting to you. Check other Bucky videos on my channel. It is a lot of them already. Leave your comments. I'll read and like each one of them. Thank you for watching, I'm out, bye.